Hello, my amazing first grade artists. Welcome to our second semester of Art Together. Can you believe it? We've already finished a half of a school year together, my friends. And you amazing artists have been doing a phenomenal job showing me all of the amazing things you've learned and how creative you can be as well, my friends. Now this week and next week, we are starting a new art project that is going to take us back in time. We are going to ancient Greece to make our own Greek amphora vases together. Now, traditionally, amphora vases are made out of clay. They're ceramic art, but we are going to make ours on paper, and we're going to take a look at some Greek gods and goddesses that are part of Greek mythology, my friends. Now, before we take a look at our art supplies artists, if you are one of my friends that has not got their new art folder and watercolors yet, I'm going to ask you to watch this video later in the week. Because I know some of my friends are switching to hybrid this week and won't be in school until Thursday and Friday. So you might not have received your new art supplies yet, artists. All right. So if that's the case, please close out this video and watch this lesson later on Thursday or Friday when you have received your new art supplies from your classroom teacher. Okay. Otherwise, if you do have your new art folder, my friends, please go ahead and continue watching. Let's go find out what else we need to make our own Greek vases today. All right, first grade friends. Now, I did want to point out, I have three orange things here. Now, you don't actually have to have three different orange things, but you do need at least one thing that is orange to do some coloring today. I find personally that orange marker works the best. But again, if you have orange crayon or orange colored pencil, that will be okay as well, my friends. So again, you don't need all three, just have at least one orange thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my art folder. We need a couple pieces of paper today. The first one is orange. The next two pieces, my friends, are white and they have some words and some pictures on them. Now the reason that there's words and pictures is because we are going to be talking about Greek gods and goddesses. I created a list of about eight different ones that are in these photos here. So that way you could learn about these different gods and goddesses and pick one. Okay, so that's going to be one of the things that we're going to do in a moment. But first, we need to figure out how to draw and cut out our own Greek amphora right now. So. My friends, I want you to think back to our very first art project of the school year. We made our symmetry name bugs. And you remember, we folded our paper, we did some drawing, and later we even cut out some things. And that's exactly what we need to do today because our Greek amphoras also show symmetry. I folded my paper down the middle, I drew my design, and then I cut it out. And I'm going to show you, friends, exactly how to do that right now. So first thing I need to do is fold my paper, and I'm not going to fold it up the long way. I'm going to actually fold it sideways. Instead of looking like a book, my friends, it should look like a long, skinny rectangle. Now, just like on our name bugs, it's really important that we have the fold on the same side together as we're drawing, my friends. So here's what I'm going to do. Ready? I'm going to draw the letter F in the middle of my paper right next to the side that has my fold. Go ahead and please add your letter F as well in the middle right along the fold side. Don't write it on the open side because if you do, artists, when you go to cut your vase later, it might not work, okay? So now that we know where the middle of our folded side is, time to start drawing the different parts of our amphora. And I'm going to break it down for you, friends. The top part is actually called the lip. Because these were traditionally used to hold different types of liquid, the lip would help pour the liquid out smoothly. So we need to start with the letter L, just like a lip would be. And watch how my letter L is going to go. It's going to come down and in. So there's my letter L. It's just laying on its back right now, my friends. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and start going down the neck of my amphora. So the neck on a person even is kind of straight and then curves out to the shoulders just a little bit. Don't worry about the handle right now. We're going to do that part in a moment. 
Right now, I want to make what I call the belly because, again, this holds a lot of liquid, just like how our bellies and our tummies can also hold a lot of liquid and a lot of food. So watch, my belly is going to come down and out close to the edge of my paper, and then it's going to come back in. And your curve can look different than mine, my friends. If you curve up higher and then bring it in lower, that will work too as well, okay? So don't worry if your curve or your belly isn't the same exact shape as mine. The last part we need is the foot. Because these vases were rather large, they needed a big base to help make sure that they would stay upright, my friends. So a foot is nice and easy in this case. You come out with a line. And then all you need to do is come straight down at the end. And there is the side of my amphora. I'm going to go ahead and trace that in black marker just so you friends can see it again. I'll be nice and easy again. I started with that letter L for the lip. I went down the neck, around the belly. I need a foot to help hold it up and then straight down. Now there's one more piece we're going to add, and that is the handles now, my friends. So up here, between the neck and the belly, I'm going to go ahead and add a backwards letter C. It's okay if your letter C is big or small. Now I need to do a little bit of cutting. The tricky part is, artists, when I come down the neck, should I go down the belly? Nope, I want to go around the handle instead and then down the belly. So this line here, I'm going to put an X there because I do not want to cut that part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now. Keeping my paper folded, I'll put my hand on that letter F to keep it folded as I cut up my foot around my belly. I'll stop here for a moment and think about it. Nope, I don't want to go there. I want to go around my handle. Up the neck and then turn to go down my letter L and up to the top of the lip. And that whole time my hand was somewhere along this folded side of my paper. And now when I open it up, I'll have my own Greek amphora. Again, yours might be a different size than mine, my friends. Yours might be, maybe have a big belly that comes down slimmer. Maybe you have a bigger foot or a smaller foot, a bigger lip or a smaller lip, and that is okay, my friends. So long as you see a lip, neck, two handles, a nice belly, and a foot. Go ahead and check that you have all those different parts right now on your vase. All right, artists, now it's time to pick a Greek god or goddess for our vase. Again, I went ahead, I provided you with some different photos of some Greek gods and goddesses, and you'll see that their name is right below their picture. You can look up each different god on this piece of paper by their name. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these different gods and goddesses. Now, I'm not going to read everything that's on here. If you do need some help though, please ask an adult in your learning environment to talk with you more about them. I'm just going to read their title, okay? So we have Apollo, he's the god of sun, light, music, and prophecy. Aphrodite is the goddess of love, beauty, and eternal youth. Ares is the god of war. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, fertility, sacred law, and the harvest. Poseidon is the god of the sea. Themis, or justice, goddess of order and justice. And Zeus is the god of the sky and king of all the gods. So based on that, my friends, you could pick one of these to go on your amphora. Or if you wanted more information, like I said, you can either read the description below or talk to an adult and ask an adult for help with reading the descriptions too. Once you've figured out which one that you would like to do today, my friends, you will color their picture in. For example, if I picked Aphrodite today, I would color her whole picture in using orange. Then you can use marker, crayon, colored pencil, whatever you have that is orange today. So it will match 
are amphoras. And take your time, really make sure that you'll get all the white that's in the middle as well. Once you have your Greek god or goddess colored in, it's time to cut that person out. Now, because this is a really complicated shape, you're not going to cut right next to their picture, okay? You're going to cut around it and inside your orange coloring. Try to make it a nice round kind of shape when you're cutting. That way it'll be easier to glue and you won't have any pokey edges, my friends. So again, I colored my person in, even inside their clothing, their hair, all those small details. And when I'm ready, I will go ahead and glue them in the middle of my amphora today. As always, you can use glue bottle or glue stick for this part. I think I'll go ahead and use glue stick today. But it's important that you make sure that there's no white left on your picture and that you find the middle of your belly. You don't want to put it up in the neck or down by the foot because that's where we're going to be putting some Greek designs next art class. And I'm going to take a look at some of those different designs with you. We're going to break them down into lines and shapes. And we're going to pick five different Greek patterns to add to our artwork. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, artists, that's all that you need to do for this week. Next week, like I said, we'll add some different designs and patterns. Once this is dry, go ahead and slide it back into your art folder. And I want to make sure that you friends know this week in Seesaw, your homework is to send me a voice or video recording telling me which Greek god or goddess you picked. Again, I picked Aphrodite this time. Last time I picked Athena and Apollo, because those are both gods of arts. This time I decided to pick Aphrodite because she is the goddess of love and beauty, and I thought those were two cool things. You will tell me which one you picked and give me one reason why. Maybe you like what that god resides over. For example, today I picked love and beauty, or maybe you related to that god because they like similar things as you do, or any other reason as well, my friends. You just need to tell me which god and why, okay? So please go back to Seesaw when you're ready and do a voice or video recording. For now, my artists, I will go ahead and say my goodbye and have fun creating, my friends.